Hey everyone, welcome to your 30 minute full body strength workout. Grab a couple sets of dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. We've got 30 minutes of strength moves in a circuit format. So three exercises, three rounds through, 30 seconds of work at a time per exercise with 15 seconds rest in between, all right? We're gonna get our heart rate up with strength moves in that circuit format, so make sure you grab your weights that challenge you in things that are lighter like a chest fly and also things that are heavier like a squat, okay? So for myself, I'm gonna be going from 15 all the way up to 30 pounds for my dumbbells today, probably just those two sets actually. So make sure you grab yours and water and your sweat towel and let's go ahead and get started, all right? Thumbs up. Here we go, warm it up, two, one, heels to glutes. Good job. And let's bring it right out front, up, up. Good. And nice straight legs, kick it out front. Four, good. Three, two, and one. Good, grab onto your heel, pull, and switch. Just slowing that down just a little bit. Good, keep your chest up. Two more. Great job, hands at your chest. Send your hips backwards. Good job, hands down. Let's pedal, bend one knee at a time. Good, spread your legs out just a bit more. Bent leg and straight leg. One more each side. Good, kick your left foot back behind you. Right leg stays up top, drop and lift. Good, lift it up on your next one, kick legs, or kick your leg back and switch your legs up and down on the other side. Let's go. One more minute and we're gonna get into the actual work of your workout today. Great job. Listen to your body. Move into the areas where it feels a little tighter. Last one down and up. Kick both legs back. Drop your hips down. Open your chest up. Exhale. Bring it into a plank. Walk back to your toes. Beautiful. All right. Backward circles with your arms. We're going to start in about 25 seconds. We have a Inchworm burpee to overhead, and then bent rows, and then bicycles, okay? So, for me, I'm gonna start with my 15s for that first move. We're gonna walk it out, walk it back in, and up and overhead, okay? So we'll go there in seven, four, three, two, one, walk it out, walk it back in, and overhead. Good job. Thirteen more seconds. Good. Five. Last one. Take it out. Come back in. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. Next move. Alternating. Bent rows. Okay, we go here in 10 seconds. We'll go there for 30, and then we go bicycles. Four, three, two, send your hips backwards, bend your knees, go. Fifteen. Five, 
two, one. Great work. Lay it down on the ground. Bicycles. All right, we're going right here. Four, three, two, one. Crunch up and twist, twist. Fifteen. Now, in round number two of all three of these, evaluate. Can you go a bit heavier? Two, one, and rest. We're back. Inchworm to overhead. I'm going to go up. Feel free to join me or stay where you know you feel good, feel strong. All right, here we go. Inchworm, two, one. Come on, walk it out, back in, and overhead. <sighs> nice work, you got 10, nine. Last one, four, three, two, one, rest, good. All right, bent rows. You can also feel free to go down to the floor and alternate here to give your back a little support. Let's go in five. Two, one, come on. Fifteen. Two, one, rest, good. All right, come on down, bicycles. And if you wanna make this one a little tougher, you can always go straight leg, a little slower. Okay, would look like this. Here we go, two, one, Come on. Something that can't change is the twist. And the keeping your shoulders up part. Six, five. You've got one more round of all three of these. Rest. All right, last round, push yourself. Heavier if you can, go down if you need to. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Walk it out and back to overhead. Two, one, rest. All right, bent rows, come on. You're doing great on the rows. Think about your back muscles pulling back instead of your shoulders going up towards your ears. Three, two, one, come on. Nice work, come on. Another 10. Five. Two, one. Great job, bicycles, and we're done with circuit number one. All right, support your head. Four, two, one, let's go.
15. Seven. Three, two, one, and breathe. Beautiful job. We're moving on in 30 seconds. You've got the lateral lunge and curl. Chest fly and suitcases. Okay, so one dumbbell at a time. You're gonna take it here with your inside hand. Curl, switch as you switch. Okay, after that, lay it down on the ground. Chest fly. After that, suitcases. Okay, let's go. Lunge and curl. Three, two, one, come on. Thirty seconds right here. One more each side. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Bring it down to the ground. Chest fly. I'm going to use my 15s. Somewhere between 10 and 15 is where I normally stay. Okay, we're up top here. Round and squeeze back over your chest. And go. Fifteen. Three, last one. Two, one. Dumbbells down to your side. Suitcases, you're just closing it up in the middle. So if you need to stay down here for a modification, crunch and either heel tap or crunch and open, okay? Two, one, if you can, set it up, all the way up and down. Four, two, and rest, good job. All right, lateral lunge and curl. And if you wanna go a bit heavier and do two hands on one dumbbell, you can do that too. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Three, two, and rest. Good, chest fly again, let's go. 10 seconds. Two. One, let's go. Great job, 13. Two more, four, three, two, one, rest. Dumbbells down, suitcase, meet in the middle in some way, okay? If you wanna hold a dumbbell over your head, that'll be a little tougher. Okay, stay on the ground here if you need to. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, 
and rest. One more time through. Can you go a little heavier on your curl? If you think yes, or maybe let's try it. Here we go. Lateral lunge, curl. Three, two, one, come on. Good job. Feeling strong. Ten, nine. Last one. Three, two, one. Good. Chest fly. Bring it down. Try to put your elbows down. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. And then we go. Two, one, go. And rest, good. Dumbbells down to the side. Suitcases to close it out and we're done with circuit two. Whew. You're doing great, stay with me. Breathe deep. As you exhale, pull your tailbone down to the floor. Let's go. Fourteen. Five. Two. And rest for 30. Amazing job. You're gonna take one dumbbell for your next move. Sumo squat, overhead extension. We did a similar move this week, okay? Taking it right here. Overhead, okay? If you need to rest it here during the squat, that's fine. But either way, you're gonna go squat and bend, okay? If you can keep it overhead, squat, bend. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, really sit back. You can open your chest up a little bit if you have this overhead hold throughout. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Now, lighter dumbbells for me. I'm gonna go tens, lunge, and kick back. All right, so we're hinging. Lunge, kick. Okay, stay low, kick it back. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, keep the elbows up. 15. 3, 2, 1. Come on down to the ground. Leg raises. Your options are two legs down, or if you need to modify, one leg down. Keep this crunch up here, the shoulder blades off the ground, crunch. Two, one, let's go. Thirteen. Rest, good. All right, back to the sumo and tricep extension. And if you have to keep it here, I want you to go squat up, extend, back down. Here we go, round two. 
three, two, one. Let's get it. Fifteen. And rest, good. Lunges with a kickback. And you notice I'm staying pretty low in my lunges. Okay, let's keep that low hip. Five, two, one, here we go. Come on, you're strong. This is a strength combo move. Heart rate should be up, you should be breathing pretty good. Fifteen. Last one. Four, three, two, one. Leg raises. Come on, head back down. Five, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen. Five. Two. One, last round. Come on up, let's go. Sumo squats and tricep extension. Four, last one, ready? Two, one. Ten. Five. Last one, two, and rest. Good. Lunges with the kickback. Ready? All right, let's step it back. Four, three, two, come on. Come on, press. Feel that squeeze in the extension. Nine. Two, one, rest. Good job. Leg raises, last round. Four, three, two, Melt your ribs to the floor, go. Fourteen, thirteen. Three, two, one. Stay down here, grab some water. We've got three moves that we're gonna rock through. Okay, you've got an inner thigh lift to V up. Okay, first side, the leg that's on the ground, that hip is gonna come up, okay? So you're gonna come up and crunch. Up and crunch, okay? Lifting with the adductor. Right here, down, crunch, out. Ready? Let's go. And if you need to rest that back leg, rest it. Okay, so you're going lift, crunch. Come on. Crunch. 
Straight leg on the bottom, crunch leg on the top. Good, six seconds, flip over to your stomach and give me push-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. To the ground, lift it up. Good, hand release at the bottom so your belly's down, hands are up, tighten it all back up before you push away. 12. In 10 seconds, you're rolling to the other side. Same thing that we did for our first exercise. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Lift it up, crunch it in. Fifteen. Seven. Three, two, rest, one. Beautiful, we're back to the other side. All right, here we go. And if you wanna modify this to make it a little more challenging, both legs together, lift up, crunch in. Ready? Let's go. Round number two. Fifteen. Five seconds. You go right to push ups. Three, two, one, push-ups, belly on the ground, go. side let's go Fifteen. Good job. Last round through all three. All right, I want those hand release push ups to be really, really good. Whew. Let's go. Three, two, one, and we're off. Straight leg, bent leg. Fifteen. Five seconds, you're going for push-ups. Three, two, one, belly down and push. Come on, 15. One more, four, three. Good, flip it over, last set right here, come on. Fifteen. Nine. One more, four, three, two, one, breathe. <sighs> Exhale, you've made it to your cool down. Flip over to your stomach right here, where you are. Exhale, push away. <sighs> 
Great job, 30 minutes, solid work. Lift your hips up, reach them back, arms out straight. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> Slowly come back onto all fours. <sighs> Give me your left arm, shoot it under your body, drop your shoulder down. Allow your spine to just twist gently. <sighs> Good, switch sides. Other arm comes through, drop the shoulder, twist gently. Good. Walk your hands back to your knees. Push your heels down. Stay here. Stretch out your calves for just a second. Slowly walk back to your toes. Come on. Cooling it down. You're right there. Bend your knees. Roll it up to the top nice and slow. Take your time. Pull your heel to your glute. Straighten your hips out. We did it. You did it, great job. Switch sides. I want you to remember all the ways that you pushed yourself this week. I want you to remember the way that you showed up today is likely very different than the way that you finished today. Cross your arms over your chest. So if you're someone who showed up, not a lot of motivation, not a lot of energy, you're feeling better right now, for sure. If you're someone who was motivated, you just showed yourself how you crushed that workout and now you feel incredibly proud of yourself. In both of those situations, we are proud, we're motivated, we're energized because we just chose to show up and start, okay? Don't forget that. Don't forget the power of the start. Don't forget the power of the show up. It's not just about maximize every single day, it all has to be perfect or it's all garbage. Not true, okay? Show up, do your best each day and your nutrition, and your fitness. Continue to learn how to make that better for yourself, whatever that means. We're all in different places, we all need different things, but what I can promise you is that you don't need the standard of excellence to see progress. You need the standard of consistent persistence to see progress. So keep showing up. I'll be back here for you for our next workout. Make sure in the meantime that you're subscribed to the channel so I can give you an alert next time I post a workout for you. Show up, do it with me, and we're gonna keep feeling better as we finish these workouts and keep showing up for ourselves in only the way that we know that we need them, okay? I'll see you back here for the next one. Great job, comment below that you crushed it. See you for the next one.